Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. In this presentation I'm going to continue my series of videos that give a gentle and basic introduction to vectors. Now in previous videos uh, I've been looking at vectors and equations of lines. So we've talked about the parametric vector form uh, of a line and a Cartesian form of a line. And in this presentation I'm going to discuss an example that's aimed to kind of build and bring the ideas together. So let me share my screen with you and we'll get underway. Okay, so here is the example I'm going to discuss. We've got a, a line L with Cartesian form given by uh, this. What we're asked to do is to determine a parametric vector form of L and identify a point A on the line L and a vector V that is parallel to L. Okay, so let's just refresh our memories a little bit. In previous videos, I've talked about the, Carte uh, the Cartesian form of a line and its relationship with the parametric form. Okay, so up here is the parametric uh, form. So let me just sort of show you the, the let me show you the whole slide actually. And um, this sort of uh, A is a position vector of a point A that lies on the line. And the V here is a vector that is parallel to the line. Now the Cartesian form of a point, uh, of a line that passes through the point A with these uh, components and is parallel to the vector V with these components is just given by this. Usually you cover up the equals lambda sign here, you just have this. So this, this um, uh, line L here would pass through the point negative 4, negative 3, 3 and be parallel to the vector V, negative 2, negative 1. Okay, so we can identify from this general setting and up here what our parametric vector form should be. Okay, so let's determine a parametric vector form uh, for the line L. Uh, our, our line L contains the point A, which is negative 4, negative 3, 3, and is parallel to the vector V, which is just the, which is a vector that has these components here three negative two and negative one okay so from this form where little a boldface is the position vector of a so basically you just write this as a column we, we can have the following hence a parametric vector form of L is this is the general form which is the following okay it's okay so the uh, position vector of that would be this and our vector v is that. And lambda here is our parameter. And when, when I write this down, I mean, at least in three-dimensional space. Yes. OK. All right, so that's part one, or part i, done. Um, we need to identify a point A on, on L and a vector V parallel to L. Well, that, that's pretty much already sorted out in, in part I. We just Let's just write it down again, okay? A point on L is the point A, which is negative 4, negative 3, 3, and a vector parallel 
to L is this one here, this one here. Okay? Now, let's say you had uh, a brain freeze and you couldn't remember this form here, okay? How do you go from here to here? Well, let me just show you what I would do in this um, particular example. Let me just grab some more paper. All right, so if, if I couldn't remember the parametric vector form, you can still derive it, okay? So what I would do, if you forget the parametric vector form, or the, then you can still derive it pretty quickly. Okay, so for example, if I started with that, I would let, say, lambda equal this, which is equal to that, which is equal to that, So what I've done now is introduced a parameter for the parametric vector form. I know my Zs and 3s look alike. And what you do is you rearrange, okay? So you, you've basically got three equations here and you re rearrange, let's, let's say we rearrange the first one. So bring the 3 up there and take the 4 to the other side. Okay, bring the negative 2 up there, bring the 3 to the other side to isolate the y. Bring the negative 1 up there, bring the negative 3 to the other side. Okay. And now what you can do is write this as a column vector. Okay, so you just write it down in this component form as a column. Okay, what you want to do is sort of pull out the lambdas and isolate, to, uh, basically turn this into two vectors. Okay, so if I take out the constant, the constant, and the constant, I'll get this. And if I pull out a lambda, and I should get this. Okay. All right, so that then is the parametric vector form. Okay. So let's compare it with what we had on the other on the other page. Are they the same? Okay, let's compare this with this. Yes, they're the same, okay? They don't need to be the same because there's an infinite number of ways to parameterize a line. Okay. So, there's a few ways of doing that problem. The, the quick way where most people just write, write down the form and the one, the way where, oh, okay, you might forget it, but it's pretty easy to, to derive. Okay, so that's a basic example involving vectors and lines. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please join me again for more presentations in this series on vectors. And if you have any comments, any suggestions, any feedback, just let me know in the comments section. Thanks again for watching. Hope you can join me soon. Bye.